What is going on, Panda Gang? And today in this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about how to set up the brand new Snake version one script. All right, if you guys want to go ahead and download the script anytime this video has a setup or an aim assist video on my YouTube channel, it is gonna be free in the description. If not, then it's going to be on the Podia. So make sure you guys go ahead and sign up. But to go ahead and open it up, once you went ahead and download it from either the media file link in the description or from the Podia, all you're gonna do is open up your Zen Studio. I know a lot of you guys are looking for the best scripts to use for all first person shooter games, but worry no more, we got you guys covered. Click on the first link in the description. It's gonna take you over to the Podia. Currently, we have five tiers open. We got the extreme scripts, ultimate aim assist, custom scripts, lifetime. This is a one-time payment for everything in here, as well as the legendary tier for anyone that's new to the Cronus Zen. I highly recommend this tier. This is where we get on a one-on-one -on -one call and make sure the Zen is working right and give you guys the best settings, all right? Custom scripts, we go ahead and use your exact settings to make you a script, meaning you'll send us your guns, your sensitivities, all that good stuff. Ultimate aim assist, you get the aim assist tier as well as the extreme script. So anytime you get a higher tier, you will get everything else below it. Now here's everything included in the ultimate aim assist tier. You can see you got videos on how to use everything. Same thing with the extreme scripts. I always upload all the videos in here first. As well as a brand new thing, I know a lot of you guys are looking for one-time payments you don't want to do monthly, but we got you guys covered. You guys can go ahead and check out the Selfie store, again, linked in the description. And here, this will go ahead and give you guys my top three scripts at the time. And again, this is just a one-time payment for anyone that wants to go ahead and sign up for that as well, all right? Now, a huge shout out to the 5.1K members, man, that are currently part of the podium and appreciate every single one of you guys. Now, let's go ahead and get back to the video, all right? Let's hit the files tab right up here, press open, and then you're gonna go into your downloads, all right? Wherever you went ahead and downloaded it, you guys will find it right here. For me, it says Snake version one. So all you do is right click and then just press open, all right? As soon as you open it up, this is what the script does look like. So if you guys wanted to, you could spend a little bit of time reading exactly how to adjust everything, right? There's recoil on the fly. There's tons of different options you can go through, right? You can see right here, speed toggles, all that good stuff. But again, I'm gonna talk about some of them throughout the video, everything included in the script. This script again works for all first person shooter games. So there's many different mods for game specifics, like you can see Apex, Pub, and all that good stuff, right? Different type of aim assist that we can choose from as well that you can select. So again, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down. You can see it says, don't touch anything here. So all we're gonna do is scroll down here. Now you do need to adjust a few things in here. And that's mostly going to be related to your in-game buttons. Now, I know in here they're defined as PlayStation button layouts. But again, I will be using my Xbox Elite Series 2 controller in today's video for the setup. So it does work for Xbox, PlayStation, PC. Anything you play on, the script will work. But again, just match your in-game settings to exactly how y'all play. Okay? So for me in here, I'm just going to come in here. And the only thing I usually have changed is my R3 and my circle button, right? So I'm going to look where it says circle. So you can see PS4 circle crouch in game and then my melee button, which is right underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and just flip those two because I play on tactical, right? So R3, R3 here and just put in circle. So if it doesn't turn that teal blue color, that means you did it wrong. And if it stays white like this, that means you spelled it wrong or something. So just make sure you're spelling things right. You have it set up. And then same thing with your in-game accesses. So your sticks your left and your right stick make sure those are matched if you play inverted sticks this script is probably going to be good for you because you can invert them right here and it should be working just fine all right so once you've done those things just come over to your programmers tab hit the six little lines right down here that says gpc scripts just right click and then drag and drop into an open slot i already got it in my first slot so i'm not going to save it again but if it is your first time saving it once you drop it in just press the play button this script is quite big, right? It has tons of different mods. So if you do get an error code, just do a hard reset. And if you want to know how to do that, I'll leave a video linked in the description or just put it on YouTube, Cronus and hard reset. And you'll be able to hard reset and add the script again, all right? And then in here in your device tab, make sure it looks exactly like this, all right? The only thing I would change since I play on PC is PC slash mobile. And then once that's done, all I'm going to do is go ahead and connect up my controller to the Zen, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the Zen cam for y'all. Is the Zen cam not working? Perfect. And once I got my controller, the Zen cam just wasn't on for a second, so I just had to turn it on. You guys can see, controller is paired up. Now all you want to do is go over here to Zen and just press the right side big blue button. I'm gonna go ahead and make the Zen cam a little bit bigger for y'all so you can see it easier. 
So you just press the right side big blue button. And now to go and enter the script is just LT and menus. All right. So again, to go ahead and exit the script, it's going to be Y or triangle if you're playing on PlayStation. Let me go ahead and move out of the way. But again, to enter the script, sometimes the script will just be pitch black like this. That's completely fine. That's just a screensaver. But again, to enter the script, it's LT and menus right here. So as soon as you turn it on, let me do it again, right? Let's say it's your first time turning it on. Just hold LT, press menus. Okay. If you're on PlayStation, it would be L2 and options. All right. So grab my PlayStation controller so I can show you guys. It's hold L2 and then press options right here. Okay. So hold L2 first, then press options. And that's how you that's how you're going to be entering the menu. Now, once in here, it's very basic. You don't need to do a lot. You just use up or down on your D-pad. You see, that's it. Look at this. So you can see there is all these different mods that you guys can set up. The first view we're going to talk about is going to be anti recon on the aim assist, right? So we're going to go ahead and press A on aim assist. Uh, I mean, anti recoil, not aim assist, anti recoil. And in here, there's many different anti recoils you can choose from. I don't know why I keep thinking aim assist, but you got smart. Legacy, Progression, Sixth Sense, Taylor's Polar, and 2X Profiles for AR. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this, so that's why it's in here. Percy, for me, I just use Legacy, so I just go ahead and press A on Legacy. And in here, you can see Legacy Recoil, just go ahead and press A. It says Disable to enable things. It's just going to be left or right on the D-pad. And then to scroll inside of the Legacy Recoil, just press Down. You can see it's going to be Recoil Y Power. Y Power means vertical values. Okay, I only adjust this and for me, most guns at 28 work perfectly fine. X power, make sure you always put it at zero. Okay, so there we go. You can go ahead and increase or decrease. This script does allow you to go negative values for anyone that plays on inverted. This is going to be the script for you. So go ahead and check it out. And then again, just go ahead and put it anywhere at 28. You're going to be fine. Rumble mode. This is rumble anti recoil. You don't need that ADS hip fire. And then again, just make sure your legacy is on. That's the anti recoil done. We're going to go ahead and press B and then go ahead and press B one more time. And again, there's different anti recoils you could choose from. I just recommend legacy. So we're going to go ahead and press B one more time. Let's go ahead and press A on aim assist inside of here, man. There is so many different aim assist. What I can do in this video is just recommend you some basic ones that you can use, but there's just so many guys that I'm going to make a whole separate video. Just look at how many there is. All right. The first one I would go ahead and test out is going to be Doge's Polar version 7. This one's quite good. I'm a big fan of it. So again, put on Doge's Polar, press A. In here, make sure you enable your Polar, then press down. Radius, anywhere between 15 to 20 works best. Angle is going to be the speed of the aim assist. Radius is just how big the circle is, okay? So again, radius at 15, put the angle at 15 as well. And again, to adjust things, it's just left or right on the D-pad. That's all. Press down, radius boost, angle boost, limit, all that good stuff. So you guys can turn things on and off here. But again, I'm making a whole separate aim assist video, so stay tuned. This script has more aim assist than you can possibly imagine inside of a script. It's pretty insane. But we're going to go ahead and press B. And then go ahead and press B. And then again, there's Doge's Polar, v th uh, Polar pl Flow V3. Doge's Times, Bat Sticky, The Reducer, Legacy, Decider, The Echo, Taylor, and then Syrians. All right. So we're going to go ahead and press B. There's way too many to choose from. We're going to go on to the fire mods next. In here, same thing. You got rapid fire, dynamic fire, burst fire. So if you want to turn any of these things on, you just go ahead and press A on the menu. And then you can go ahead and, you know, just put it on. All right. So you can see hold time, wait time, all that good stuff. So we're going to go and keep scrolling. You got shot mods next. I know a lot of people like strafe shot and all that good stuff. So you can do a ducking shot in this one as well. Then you got the global mods. Go ahead and press A on this. This is for all, all my bunny hop people. Y'all know I love the bunny hop, so I'm going to go ahead and enable it. Then just go ahead and press B. Bunny hop hold time. Leave that just as is. And then you got steady aim, auto sprint, rapid melee, quick scope, cook grenade, auto reload, and then auto heal. That's mostly, I think, for Apex. But again, you can go ahead and test that one out as well. So global mods, then you got aim abuse. This is mostly if you're going to be playing zombies. Okay, so you can use that. Then you got COD mods specific to Call of Duty. So in here you got Snake Peak, Burpee Shot, Dolphin Cancel, and Slide Cancel. Slide Cancel, y'all know I definitely need this, so I just put it on Modern Warfare, and that seems to work best for me. All right, so just put it on Modern Warfare. That's the best one there. Go ahead and press B. B, you can keep scrolling. You can put on any of the other things you want. I'm not a big fan of them, so I don't put them on. 
Then you got Apex specific mods. So you got holster weapon, slide cancel for that game. Jump slide, super glide, bunny hop, wall bounce, super jump, and then Harlem loop spin. All right. So again, all those things. And then PUBG specific, auto lean, peak shot, and then snaking. And then finally, we got the miscellaneous mods down here for your headshot aim assist, sensitivities, Harrier triggers, PS on Xbox. I, don't, I honestly don't know what that does. I think the PS on Xbox is going to go ahead and just flip your settings. So again, if you're playing PlayStation on Xbox, you'll be able to do that. So not a big fan, but leave it as is. Block rumble, rainbow flow, and then drive mode if you're playing Call of Duty. All right. So just go ahead and press B. And then if you wanted to just go all the way back to the main menu, all you do is press Y right here, okay? Or triangle if you're on PlayStation, and it's going to say settings saved, and you're good to rock and roll, all right? This script does have a lot more things you need to adjust and all that good stuff, but again, don't be worried if it's pitch black like this. That's completely normal, all right? So hope you enjoyed this video, man. Catch you on the next one. Peace and love, Panda Gang.